Hey friends, welcome back and hello to you new people too. I'm Courtney, Phaedra and Nix are hanging out in the room with me and I wanted to share a life update with you. I know a lot of you follow me on Instagram so you see my Instagram stories updates but since not everybody's over there, um, I thought I would just make a video to talk about what's going on with me. <laughs> Number one, I just sent my laptop back off to Falcon Northwest because it needs to be repaired. When I got it back from them, it was still broken. The first time I booted it up, it still had the same artifacting issue. So I was really upset. I was in tears. I, I sent a video to Falcon Northwest of me booting it up and it, it immediately having the same problem and how I kept rebooting it and would have the same problem. And so they decided to have me send it back to them. They paid for shipping this time, which is nice because when I shipped it to them, I spent $350. And um, I guess they're gonna try to replace the screen in the laptop and see if that fixes the problem. It's gonna go through testing, so I'm probably gonna be without it for at least another week. I mean, this is just really upsetting to me because I'm really tired of using Dave's Microsoft Surface laptop, which I'm grateful I have that option, but it's not my machine, and it takes like three times the amount of time to compile a video before I can upload it to YouTube. So it just makes everything I do slower. It makes video editing slower because it's very, very sluggish at that. Um, it's not very good with photo editing. So all of the stuff that I do for my blog and YouTube are slower. It's okay for my work, like for stuff I do for work it's fine because it doesn't have any slowdown for the stuff that I do for that. But it's just, it's upsetting to me and stressful that, you know, I'm stuck using a machine that isn't as good as my machine. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, Next, uh, if you're familiar with Murphy's Law, I swear to God that that is applied to this house at every single turn. Um, I bought three toilets because the toilets, uh, two of the toilets in my house were broken and I figured the third is probably not far behind. And when they arrived here on Monday, one of them was broken, so I was able to immediately ship it back and get a refund from Amazon. But the other two seemed fine. And so when the plumber came yesterday, it was supposed to be $450 to install three toilets. He was only going to be doing two toilets, so I thought it was going to be, you know, $300. And then he puts the first toilet in and it's fine. He looks at all the toilets. He decides that all of them need like this shut off valve that they don't have, or it was a plastic piece and he put in a metal piece. So then he charged me for that. And then um, he couldn't get the second toilet into my guest bathroom, the one that was like running like crazy that made me feel like, you know, if I believed in ghosts, I would think there was a ghost in that toilet making it run all the time because it just would never stop running. And apparently that one was like leaking underneath the base where we couldn't see it. It wasn't coming out because it was cocked in. So that one was gross and weird. But the toilet that I bought to put into that room or that, that bathroom wouldn't fit because the hole was too close to the wall. So then I had to go to Home Depot, buy a new toilet that would fit in that space, and then I had to reach back out to Amazon to have them come, pick, if I have somebody pick that up to return it, which they haven't had somebody pick it up yet, so I can't get a refund on that one until they pick it up and then it gets returned. But because like this wasn't a standard job and there were all like all kinds of complications, my $450 install for three toilets ended up being $1,100, which I didn't expect, so I was really kind of upset about that. Um, for the one that arrived broken on Monday, I did end up buying a completely different toilet that'll be here in like two weeks. I bought a toilet with a bidet because I always wanted that and it's going to go in the master bathroom. So I'm kind of excited about that if it arrives and it's not broken. But the mess with yesterday was just really stressful. Um, I feel like I have spent so much money to fix up all of the stuff around this house. Like I just spent a thousand dollars to get all of the lanai rescreened and it looks great. So I'm very happy about that, but it's just... Every single corner, I feel like everywhere I look, there's something broken in this house that I have to fix, and it's so frustrating. Yeah. Uh, and I still haven't sold my old house yet, so I'm hoping that that house sells soon. I finally dropped the price on it, so wish me luck. Next, I've been working with a trainer with Nyx and Phaedra, but mostly Nyx, and I'm finally starting to see some progress and seeing things in her behavior that I don't like improve, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, this guy is doing all positive reinforcement and like uh, treat training and instead of doing clicker we're doing yes so like if she does what I want I say yes and I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of the results that I wanted that I wasn't getting before which was frustrating for me that I wasn't getting the results before but now that I'm doing it slightly differently I'm getting results which is great so I'm probably gonna be doing that for still another couple months so in very very personal news I've been very unhappy with my weight and my eating habits because I think I'm addicted to sugar and what I mean by that is that I always want to eat dessert at night after dinner. Always. 
And so I decided that I really need to change that behavior. And I've tried a lot of different things and other things that I've tried, like what worked best for me in the past was um, doing slim fast and working out. But when I tried things recently, they didn't work for me. So I started looking into the keto diet. So I'm trying the keto diet and I've only been on it since Monday. So I can't really tell you if I <laughs> love it or hate it yet. I can tell you that I'm feeling full, which is nice. And I'm having problems meeting my calories, which I didn't expect. And basically, I guess that's uh, basically for the keto diet for what I'm doing is I'm prioritizing fat, then protein, and I'm doing as low carb as possible. So for example, for breakfast today, I had a cup of cottage cheese. For lunch, I had a Florida avocado that I mixed with lemon juice and a little bit of pink sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt and some Cholula hot sauce, I like mix that together, basically to kind of make like a guacamole and I just ate that for lunch. On Monday night, I made this uh, really bad at, well, I made, let me rephrase that as, Ray cooks, I assist him when he cooks. <laughs> but uh, we took salmon and we took like ricotta and cheese and lemon juice and mixed it together and then put like the ricotta mixture on the inside of the salmon and then we took asparagus and then we wrapped the salmon around the asparagus and baked that in the oven and it was amazing. So if all of my meals are going to be delicious like that with a lot of cheese, I'm probably going to be okay. Um, I haven't found myself going for ice cream or for um, going for cupcakes or anything like that, which is good. But I will say I did try a bite of Halo Top ice cream and I know people rave about it. And maybe it was just the, the bites that I tried because I tried two flavors. I tried a bite of the candy bar and the sea salt caramel and the candy bar tasted god awful to me. Like something was horribly wrong with it. And the sea salt caramel was a little better, but still not great. And I'm like, I know people rave about this stuff, but I just, it doesn't taste right. And I like coconut milk ice cream. I like almond milk ice cream. I like alternative dairy ice creams. I just didn't like this at all. So if there's a good flavor of Halo Top out there, let me know because I'm really curious because I feel like, wow, I expected it to be amazing and it was not what I expected at all. Whew. By the time you see this video, I think it's going to be live, but I did a collaboration video with Jen Loves Reviews. She interviewed me to talk about cruelty-free beauty, and I was really excited to talk with her about it, and I tried to answer all of her questions as best I can. So I'm going to put a link to her channel up here so you can go check it out, but I was so, so excited to be able to talk about cruelty-free beauty, and anyway, I hope that you show her support and show that video support. Anyway, I think that's all that's really going on with me, mostly just I'm really stressed from a lot of house stuff. <laughs> and uh, really stressed about my laptop. So hopefully I can find some ways to reduce stress soon because my stress has been going through the roof. And you know I take medication daily for my anxiety. I take Buspirone and I see a therapist. But right now I feel like my stress is at an all time high. Like it hasn't been this high in years and it's been so hard to manage. I feel like I'm basically neglecting myself and not doing a lot of normal self care just because I'm so stressed. So wish me luck at getting my stress under control. Anyway, let me know what's going on with you in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, click on that little subscribe button down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.